saying. This is like a big. Uh, what if our house freaking falls down? Well, this, this house is a hundred years old. Yeah, it's, it's had it's had this two, bank this house of two earth. World war. It's Welcome back to my house, everyone. You may remember we've done a few projects here. And we're back for probably the biggest and most ambitious project yet, a deck right here in all of its glory. So before we get into the details, the general concept here, we're gonna blow out those two windows and put in a French door, which I've never done. So this should be fun. Um, and then the deck's gonna extend out to here. What's awesome is I actually use this killer software from Simpson Strong Tie that gives me all of the hardware, the harnesses, the fasteners, the mounts, all the goodies, all the materials that I'm gonna need. Uh, help me lay out the deck. I'm super stoked we're gonna be working with uh, those guys and Trex in order to do decking, railings, and Trex Rain Escape because my plan is to have dry storage underneath for my fishing stuff and any of like the yard tools because we don't have a deck, or excuse me, we don't have a uh, what are those called? A shed. We don't have a shed and we're not allowed to have a shed, I don't think, because um, I live in the city. So in order to do this, uh, we're going to get pretty damn squirrely. Uh, first thing being, we gotta move these steps to face out that way so we can still get access into the basement. And that's gonna require a few toys. So in order to make this a little bit easier, I went on down to the local Freedom Store and rented myself something. Never done this before, so this should be fun. So we've got some concrete guys coming next week. We've already talked, you know, quoted out the retaining wall and moving the stairs to go that way. Because of where the deck's gonna land on that end, we should be able to get under it by just barely ducking. We're not anticipating having crazy amount of clearance to get underneath it. Just looking for some dry storage and uh, something a little bit better than this once the deck's up. I think the best way to move these is gonna be by breaking them and then we'll go dump them on some other side of the house so we can get back to it at a later date and, uh, and take it to a landfill. So, it's jackhammer time. My squirrels, we've got a lot of the concrete broken out of here. Now it's time to pull out the hoe, dig a little bit of more room, see if this smaller stuff that we left in the hole we can we can tear out, and then we'll break that bottom pad once we have it all kind of cleared. Never done this before. Let's get squirrelies. Eight one one came by, said we're good. And then I was digging and we found that. And then I remembered that there's a dead power outlet down in my parking pad from some idiots. So now we've got to cut it out. All right guys, we've got day two. We brought in some pros for the retaining wall and for the stairs and the pad. Um, so hopefully my hole, my hole's not too shitty, right? No. Nah, all right, so the hole's gonna work. Um, we're gonna give them a hand. I'm gonna learn a little bit about building a wall and then hopefully some concrete forming stuff. I just don't have the experience and I don't, it's something I just didn't wanna screw up. So we reached out, uh, Chris and I talked on Instagram and Law Construction's been doing this stuff for you said for 40 years plus. So sometimes you just gotta, you gotta bring in the big guns uh, to get the job done. Super pumped. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's get to work.
So what we got going on here, we've got, we're leveled one way, right? And then we, we're filling her up with some gravel and then we're just starting that first row. That's the hardest part, huh? Yes, it is. Yeah. I mean, getting it level is the, the thing that you gotta make sure. See, this is the most time consuming part. Time consuming part for sure. Tell you what, it already looks great. It already looks better than the shit we would have done. <laughs> and it's, it's just rocks <laughs> in a block. Would you say verse lock's pretty approachable for like the normal person? Yes. You very, just take your time. Very easy, start with a level base. Build up from there, huh? That's it. Put solid level base. Grown man over here, my sissy ass is wearing gloves. He's just here. bare fisting this shit. <sighs> I had a lot of indulgent delights this weekend. I need to work off. So it's not that bad. I think I I think I gained nine pounds this weekend. And I only had like six beers. All right, guys, so we've got the, the fills in the back of the wall. Next thing we're gonna do is get the rest of this 2B into the base for the concrete, and then we'll glue down the caps, right? Yep. And put in the forms, and tomorrow we're pouring. We're probably gonna do no, some landscaping, pour too. Form and pour tomorrow. Pour tomorrow. Hold on, Chris. Form and pour tomorrow. Live and learn. All right, so come on over here, check this out. Simpson Strong Tie has a pretty sweet new software. It's their deck planner software. And what you can do with it is literally just design your deck almost basically for whatever kind of sets you want. So our deck is 20 inches wide by 20 inches long at a four foot height. Now what's cool about the software is it literally just tells you what you need. So it squirts out this very kind of standard deck First thing I'm gonna come in here and do is change the layout of the deck. Our deck is L-shaped, so click, you know, kind of move it around. And these softwares are awesome. Uh, what it does is it gives you a better grasp on kind of like all the things you need to know about building it. And then you can just take this directly to an engineer or uh, even to get it stamped and approved for permitting and whatnot. So as we can see, it gives us our pillars. It's given us all kinds of good stuff on here. You can go in and add all these little details if you want. We're gonna add a single step. What's really cool about this software is you get to choose your materials. For us, we're going with uh, Trex products on this project. And, and Trex is just amazing. They have superior durability, uh, it's super low maintenance, and, and we love the colors and the sustainability, as well as their warranty. Um, we plan on renting our house long-term, so we're looking for something that's gonna last forever and that we're not going to have to do a ton of maintenance on. As you guys know, you uh, definitely have to do a ton of maintenance on wooden decks as far as refinishing and sanding, uh, dealing with splinters and all that kind of stuff. We just didn't even wanna go with that. So this is the basic layout of our deck. And the last thing that's going into this is using the Trex Rain Escape system, which will waterproof the entire bottom of the deck and make it super versatile and usable for storage for our sake. So when you get ready to do this, uh, you can see Simpson Strong Tie software shows you all of this, the fasteners and stuff that you'll need, uh, which is really cool. If you have anything you need to change, it's awesome. You can stage the deck a little bit more. Uh, it'll squirt out a materials list for you and you can export that as a CSV, as well as you can create a report that's what we've got in front of us, and that's what we're gonna to use to build our deck. So, super big thanks to Simpson Strong Tire for uh, supporting us on this build, as well as Trex. We are extremely excited. Now, we need to go dig some holes. So we're back in the hole. Day two on the uh, finishing up the little walkway here. These guys are gonna form out the steps. I'm gonna watch, because I have absolutely no clue how to do it. And they're gonna pour some concrete, and then we're gonna to get to digging some holes for the posts which will be the next phase. And we got a little uh, fun tool that should help us with that. Could be a good day. All right, so there's a storm coming in in like two hours. The guy's got the concrete forms done for the steps. We don't want to mess with the finish, potentially getting rain on it, because 
rain and concrete don't go together, if you didn't know. But we like to play it a little closer to the chest or wing it, some might say. So we're gonna dig all of our post holes and then try and pour them before the rain comes and uh, pray for the best. It doesn't matter if those cosmetically don't look that good because they're just post holes. And um, I only rented this ditch witch, no, it's not a ditch witch. I rented this dingo for one day. <laughs> so we got one day to do this. Let's bust out the machines. So this is the dingo. Dingo could arguably be the best name ever. I think, I think it is. I mean, I think I want to name my firstborn child Dingo, male or female. Dingo, 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 Dingo. Dude, I'm already tired and starving. We need protein before we do this. All right, so before we dive in, I want to send a huge thank you out to Pit Boss for sponsoring not only this video, but the entire series. And damn it, we're giving away one of the Pro Series Combos Grill that you just saw me grilling and smoking this pork shoulder on. If you want to enter to win, we're going to have a chance to win on one, two, three, and four videos in a row. All four videos coming up in this series. Your best chance to win is gonna be to subscribe and watch all the videos. And for this video specifically, if you comment, get squirrely down below, that'll get you entered. There's a link in the description with everything else you need to know if you're interested in the grill. Uh, much love to Pit Boss. We've been smoking on them for about a year now. Sam and I love their stuff. It's awesome, right Sam? Amazing. Amazing. Now. Speaking of amazing, we're gonna dive in to this pork shoulder so we can fuel ourselves to get back to the sweaty disgustingness. My dingo, you're a dingo, ding. My dingo, you're a dingo, ding. Dingo, dingo. I'm gonna get a John Dingo shirt if this goes off. I've never said this before, but let us play with our dingo. Dingo on the loose. So we just checked the radar. It's literally splitting like the Red Sea around all of the freedom happening right here. So we're gonna try and we're just gonna keep working. All right, moment of truth. Can I ram these three bags of concrete down that tiny hole? We're gonna find out today. Next, we start the framing, so make sure you're subscribed. Also, make sure if you want to enter that pit boss giveaway, which you should, to comment and get squarely down in the comments. Those are gonna be your best chance. And if you need any more information, there's a link down in the description. Now, I'm gonna go finish the rest of that meat that we cooked this afternoon. See you guys in the next one.